two, one, go. So when you pick your stall, the first thing you want to do if your horse is in and eating is just to make sure that you move any clean hay over to the corner, out of the way, so that you don't get any manure or urine onto the hay that the horse can eat. So you just push that all off to the side. And now when you have the pile of manure, you want to make sure that when you scoop that out, you get just the manure. So then you give it a little shake, a little sift, think about like a big strainer, and just get the manure and leave that clean bedding. And you wanna make sure that you clean out all of the manure and all of the clean, or all of the dirty debris that may be in the stall. So just get all of those little pieces that might have gotten spread around. And Taj is a pretty neat housekeeper here, so there's not a whole lot of manure to sift through, but some horses will bury their manure like a giant litter box or spread everything around, and that takes a little bit more time. So once you've gotten all of the obvious piles of manure out of the way, you want to just make sure that there's nothing hiding. And in order to do that, you would want to go through the stall and just flip over all of the shavings to make sure that they're all nice and clean. And by doing that, you can see where any of the urine may have seeped through the top layer of clean bedding, and you wanna just scoop that out and get that out of the way. And this way, you ensure that your horse is laying in the cleanest bedding possible. None of us would wanna sleep in dirty sheets, and we don't want our horses to sleep in a dirty stall. So you just go through and make sure you cover every inch of the stall so you do the far back and the front where the horse likes to eat and everywhere that they're going to lay and then when you're done you want to make sure that you give your horse a nice fluffy bed to lay on and so to do that you want to just make sure you pull the bedding back into the middle where the horse is going to lie down so that they have a nice cushion to sleep on and they're not sleeping on any bare mats or bare dirt uh, in order, because then they would get some bed sores and hawk sores. So we just want to make sure that none of that's going to happen and everything is nice and clean and cushy and flat. And when you are flattening your bedding, it also turns up any manure that you might have missed while you were cleaning. So you just go through, make it nice and flat, and just check for any little waylay pieces of manure that may have escaped your eye on the first go round. And that's how you clean a stall.